ओके बाबा सो लास्ट टाइम आई आस्क यू अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम दिस वाज द प्रॉब्लम इन अ क्लास ऑफ एट बॉयज एंड फाइव गर्ल्स टू क्लास रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स आर टू बी चोजन इन हाउ मेनी वेज दे कैन बी चोजन इफ बोथ आर चोजन फ्रॉम ऑल फर्स्ट इज टू बी अ बॉय सेकेंड एनी ऑफ द बॉय और गर्ल वन बॉय एंड वन गर्ल so in this problem you will come to know what is the major difference between permutation and combination because from the definition arrangements repetition allowed or order is a matter order is not a matter nothing can be clear to you people because we are focusing we are targeting on the probability so before going to the probability we must know the counting principles that is your permutation and combination and we must know what is the difference between these two until unless you don't understand what is the difference where to apply permutation where to apply combination you will not be able to solve the probability questions so before going to the probability it is at most necessary that we must have a differentiation between permutation and combination we must have a clear distinction line between the two so this problem i have deliberately chosen because up till now you people have done the problems in which you are multiplying whatever be the arrangements are groups are to be made but here the first one is entirely different for second and third there is no issue so i am solving third one first one in the last with a reason as well with a proof as well i will give you okay then i will focus on your permutation and combination difference so first is to be a boy now you know that for second one eight boys okay if a boy cr is chosen theek so 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 boys left 7 boys left that means 7 boys now we have five girls that means we have now 12 students over here you will not say that the boys are girls because we are now combining them so they will become your students okay so out of eight boys a cr can be chosen in eight different ways and out of 12 the second cr can be chosen in 12 different ways so total number of ways are 96 that is straight forward a boy cr can be chosen in eight ways because out of eight boys now out of eight boys if one class representative has been has been chosen ultimately we will left with the seven boys and five girls are already there so 7 plus 5 now we have in all pool 12 students out of 12 students you have to select one of the uh, uh, cr so that can be in 12 ways so this is for the second one for the third one it's a very simple one one boy and one girl that means a boy can be selected in eight ways because there are eight boys and a girl a boy cr a girl cr can be chosen maine yahan jaan boojh kar i am deliberately changing the word over here i am saying selected over here i am saying can be chosen or even elected whatever be the word you are because these are the words we are playing with so and and a girl cr can be chosen or elected in five ways in five ways 
सो टोटल नंबर इज इक्वल टू एट इंटू फाइव इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी वेज इज ए क्लियर एनी कंफ्यूजन नाउ कमिंग टू द थर्ड वन दैट इज यूर बोथ आर चोजन फ्रॉम आल if i am going to raise this one for this one both are chosen from all that means 8 boys plus 5 girls is equal to we have 13 students in all we have 13 now we have to choose elect or select both from this pool that is the number 13 so first cr first cr can be selected or chosen or elected in 13 ways in 13 ways second cr can be selected in 12 ways now the answer over here i am writing total number of ways is equal to 13 into 12 divided by 2 now see the difference in both of second and third or in any of the previous problems we did not divide it with any number but over here we are dividing with the 2 2 on the 2 6 so 78 ways in 78 different ways you can select or elect both crs from all the student that is number 13 okay now to prove this one whether this number is okay or not if you are going with normal ke normally 13 into 12 agar aap log multiply karte to wo number zyada ho jata jo galat ho jata isko hum prove karte hain ke kaise galat ho jata we are squeezing the number we are decreasing the number how say there are 3 boys and two girls out of the 3 boys and two girls we need two class representatives how many wahi do chahiye so we have five students that means theek hai conventionally what you were doing previously कि आप लोग सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे थे अगर उस हिसाब से आए तो पहला सी आर फर्स्ट सी आर इन फाइव एज एंड सेकेंड सी आर इन फोर वेज दैट मीन्स टोटल इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाउ दिस ट्वेंटी इज द रॉन्ग आंसर टू मी इट्स राइट आंसर इज 10 so let's prove this one 10 how do kahi bhi select kar lo har jagah do hi kar rahe ho that is not the problem we uh, i'll i'll go through this one suppose i am giving you an example from a cricket 11 in how many ways you can choose three players ठीक बट उसी जगह पर अगर मैं कहूं फ्रॉम अ क्रिकेट इलेवन वी हैव टू चूज कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन एंड अ विकेट कीपर ऑल थ्री डिफरेंट प्लेयर्स देन देयर इज अज डिफरेंस देन देयर विल बी अज डिफरेंस इन कैलकुलेशन एंड दैट डिफरेंस यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन so it's not the question that we are selecting 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 we have to focus on other factor that is the major one on that one i am coming but let me first prove that i am right with the answer 10 ke ye 20 nahi hoga it will become 10 how say we are representing the boys and girls Three boys we have. That means say boy one, boy two, 
and boy three and we have girls girl one and girl two what are the possibilities take boy one boy one can be cr with boy two boy one can be cr with boy three boy one can be cr with girl one boy one can be cr with girl two okay now coming to the boy two boy two with boy three boy two with girl one boy two with is there any option left no then boy three with girl one boy three with girl two okay then all the boys have been done come to the girls girl one with girl two now count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 give me the remaining 10 if you are saying it is 20 what happens what happens actually you need to focus on this thing boy one with boy two okay once we have done boy one with boy two now you are starting with boy two you don't need to count boy 2 with boy 1 because that has been already done so you will repeat this one so where these are the errors in counting you people are making if you have any confusion from this one i prove this one ke ye isi tarah hi hoga ab ye agar three boys or two girls if it is right for three boys and two girls it must be right for eight boys and five girls yes okay now what is the key factor over here how to identify by looking at the problem should i rub the board now because it will be in the video recording so everything you must have pay your attention over here say we have the number 46 and another number is 44 now if you reverse the digits what will be the number do we get a different number no if we are reversing the digit 46 do we get that different number this will be 64 this will remain as it is 44 these are the these are not the two numbers this is just a one number so over here it is combination and over here it is permutation now what comes to the conclusion how to identify how to identify that where to apply permutation and where to apply combination it's a very simple one from this example now these are the two digits these digits in terms of counting principles in set theory we are calling them elements we are calling them elements similarly over here 4 6 are the two different elements now over here if elements have the similar identity if all the elements have similar identity then we have to use the combination if each of the element has a distinct identity separate identity then we have to use permutation for example the example i have already quoted three players three players from cricket 11 now player is player so har player ki identity kya hai player so har ek ki alag alag identity nahi hai each one has not a separate identity or entity but they are all equal in terms of 
playing team that is player over here you will apply combination but from team of 11 a captain a vice captain and a wicket keeper all three different all different Thick. now you have given the identity to each to the each element you have given an identity to each element captain is different from vice captain vice captain is different from wicket keeper so if you are giving entity then you have to use the permutation if all elements have equal status then you have to put down or to use your combination so looking at the problem it is utmost necessary that you have to identify whether all elements have similar identity or not if they have similar identity then you have to apply the combination if they have separate unique from one another then you have to apply permutation law 